Hello. Today I'm going to show you a trio of tools from Atmel that lets you develop touch applications on standard Atmel microcontrollers. We're talking about buttons, sliders and wheels using Atmel's patented charge transfer capacitive touch technology. QTouch Library is a code library that contains all the touch firmware algorithms you need to add touch buttons, sliders and wheels to your Atmel microcontroller projects. QTouch Studio is a PC application that provides real-time visualization of the QTouch data stream from your target device. Completing the package is the newcomer, QT600, a touch development kit that lets you test your software on real devices and with real touch controls. In the box, you'll find a controller board, three generic target modules with a Mega AVR, Tiny AVR or X Mega device, plus various control surfaces with buttons, sliders and wheels on them. The most important part of the QT600 kit is the controller board. This programs your target device, streams QTouch data from the target processor and takes care of the USB connection to your PC. Instead of just talking though, let me give you an example of how it works. What we need for this example is the QT600 controller board, a target module supporting the Tiny88, and this control surface with a slider on it. The workflow evolves around AVR Studio, our integrated development environment. I've already downloaded and installed the mentioned software, so I launch AVR Studio and select an example project from the QTouch library. I want to use the Tiny88 and I'm going to set up a touch slider for it. Adding the slider is as simple as adding a single call to the function QT enable slider with a few parameters, which channels you want to use and how many bits of resolution you want. Now you just press the uh, build button in AVR Studio and that's it. Let's program the target chip and test it. With the QT600 kit connected to the computer, open the Connect dialog to program the target chip. Now our slider is ready and able. All the necessary algorithms are included, the I.O. is set up and ready to go. But we won't be able to actually see anything happen yet. This is where QTouch Studio comes in. Launched from within AVR Studio, it provides visualization of your touch data so that you can see the slider actually works. Of course, the slider alone is not really an application. Let's make it do something. The target device module plugs right into the SDK 600 starter kit, so I'm going to add a few lines of code that will light up four LEDs on it according to the touch position on the slider. And there they go. And that was all it took to turn our slider into a slightly more functional demo. At some point in your design process, you build your own target PCB and touch sensor assembly. You can still hook these up to the QT600 controller board and use its programming and data streaming capabilities. Just for fun, I'll show you how simple it is to connect a homemade touch slider. Sliderman is a piece of paper with a pencil drawn three channel slider sensor drawn on it. And it works too. I just connect it to where the QT600 sensor module was connected. As you can see, the received touch data still looks good, even from such a rudimentary sensor. This is due to the patented charge transfer signal acquisition, which ensures robust sensing. The QT600 is the final building block in a complete set of tools that enables you to develop touch buttons, sliders or wheels for standard Atmel microcontrollers. Planned updates to the QTouch library include more part support, and planned updates to QTouch Studio include improved signal diagnostics tools. All the software you need can be downloaded for free 
from Admel.com and the QT600 is available from Admel Distributors at a very reasonable price. Now, go ahead and create your own touch.